Time is crucial in an emergency and 911 call takers and dispatchers are the first line of defense in crisis. From the moment you call in, they go to work gathering critical information, walking you through response and oftentimes first aid. They're the calm in the midst of a storm and yesterday we introduced you to these professionals who stay on the line until help arrives. This morning we're going to see what it takes for these telecommunicators to help keep the city safe. On each emergency response call, every second counts. Communications is the lifeblood, you know, the lifeblood of everything that we do. Last time, we introduced you to the people at the AECC, the voices of Amarillo 911. Dispatchers and call takers play a huge role in what we do because uh, they're a vital uh, resource for us. Jeff Justice is the public information officer for the Amarillo Fire Department and says response tactics begin the moment the call comes in. They collect all kinds of data and information from the caller as we're responding there, whether it be uh, uh, dangerous animals on scene or power lines down or are there people still trapped inside the building that haven't made it out yet or maybe everyone is already out. That's important information to us as we're responding to that scene. While call takers and dispatchers may not be on scene, they're every bit as vital to crisis response. Everything about it depends on how we respond and how quickly we respond. So, you know, when they, they get that call coming in, the sooner as they can get it to us, the better. But we, we respond to things without a whole lot of info often. But the more we can get, the, the better it is for, for our safety and the better we can help you when it comes to getting there and, and knowing what's going on at the scene. While modern technologies made location tracking easier, that's not always the case. Most people don't know this, but we don't automatically have your location. Um, oftentimes we can get a somewhat location. It's not always exact and sometimes it's completely off. And so it's very important for people to know their location. And in some cases, call takers must act as responders until help can arrive. I had a mother call. Her son, I believe, was three years old, and he was having an allergic reaction. And she was very hysterical. Um, as a mother, I completely understand. And so one of the things our protocol leads us to is walking them through utilizing an EpiPen. She had never used it before. She did not want to use it. And I highly encouraged her, we're gonna do this together. We walked her through one, something she was very fearful of doing and two, possibly saving her baby's life. Strickland serves as management coordinator at the center and says being able to handle high stress and react quickly is part of the job. This is actually something that we advise all of our applicants when they're first coming in because of course we want to be transparent. Um, this job can come with a lot of um, stress because you don't know what's going to come through on that phone call. Um, you don't know what you're going to be dispatching to. So how do they keep their cool in the midst of the storm? When we hire somebody in here, we have to get everybody state licensed. We put them through three different certifications that we have to go through for our protocol. Um, people can come in here with absolutely no experience and we're gonna train them from the very bottom to be the absolute best telecommunicator they can be. It takes a special heart and mind to do a job like this and Strickland is the person tasked with finding those qualities. We also want a team mindset. So somebody that's gonna come in here, jump in and be part of the team because this is a huge team effort. So when crisis strikes, information and teamwork are your best defense. And Strickland says if you're interested in joining the team, they're hiring. Maybe you'd like to job shadow before you apply to see if it's a fit for you. They'll let you check it out. You can give her a call at 806-378-9054 or you can apply online. We've got those links for you over on our website. You know where to go, myhighplains.com.